Hey guys, Dantix here, back with another Doom Eternal video. I absolutely love this game, and if you want to see my thoughts, be sure to check out my review, link in the description. This video will be breaking down all the regular weapons you'll be using, their mods, their pros and cons when talking about specific demons. You can't pick a weapon and use it the whole way through Doom Eternal. No, each weapon has a best use, and hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a good idea of what that is and be on your path to becoming a whirlwind of carnage, which is the most amount of fun you can have in the game. I'll try my best to avoid spoilers, but this video will contain all the weapons you can find, their mods, and list every fodder, heavy, and super heavy demon, but all the bosses will remain secret. I want to get this out of the way first, the BFG is in the game and it's a super weapon, having rare limited ammo so there's, there's no point covering it. It's a weapon you fire when you're overwhelmed and feel you have no other choice. The Crucible is another super weapon that I won't cover here, it has limited uses and dispatches almost any enemy in one hit, so save it for your heavy and super heavies. So before I start, let me know what weapon you think will be your favourite, I want to see if it changes by the end of the video. Let's kick this off with the combat shotgun. You start with this weapon and if you're anything like me, we'll be still using it heavily at the end. It consumes shotgun shells, an ammo type it shares with the super shotgun. Up close it instantly kills smaller enemies like the basic zombies. At close to medium range it staggers fodder demons letting you glory kill. This is an excellent way to save ammo and to top your health and blood punch meter up. Its basic fire mode is not so useful against heavy demons when compared to the super shotgun, so try to save your ammo for the mods, the sticky bombs, and full auto. With the sticky bomb mod, holding alt fire then hitting fire will launch a bomb that sticks to a surface or a demon, then explodes after a short time costing one ammo. Sticky bombs are my favourite mod out of all the mods in the game. It's also the mod I used most and seemed the most versatile. One hit, one kill against all fodder demons and the fodder in the explosion as well. So lighting a group of demons up with your flame belch then launching one sticky bomb in the middle only costs you one shotgun shell and will refill your armor. I found the bombs highly effective against the following demons. The Arachnatron, the Mancubus and the Revenant as one bomb destroys their weak point and further bombs will dispatch them, especially when you mastered the sticky bombs mod and can fire five per reload. The bombs are also your go-to for taking out Cacodemus as when aimed at their mouth will cause them to swallow the bombs, staggering them and setting them up for a glory kill. The bombs are also effective against most other heavies if you have no other option except the fast moving demons like the Whiplash or shielded targets like the Doom Hunter. Even the super heavy tyrant doesn't appreciate a salvo of sticky bombs. It is without question, try to master this mod as a priority. The next mod is Full Auto and although it is not as versatile as a sticky bomb, it has its uses. Holding Alt Fire will activate it, then holding down or rapidly pressing your trigger will unload your shells with blazing speed. It will be a good go to option for burning through big targets with high HP pulls until you get the chain gun and even then it's more effective up close and uses different ammo. The full auto mod is extremely effective against pinkies as after you dodge your attack or freeze them with the ice grenade, you can unload in their back for an easy kill. It's also good against demons that chase you down like the Howl and Dread Knight and can burn through the super heavies and the mancubus if you have no other option. This mod is high risk though as it will burn through your shotgun ammo in seconds and I found having shotgun ammo is the most important ammo type to be fully loaded with. Having sticky bombs and super shotgun rounds is always handy. Don't upgrade this mod until you absolutely have to or if you chose to ignore sticky bombs. If so, max it and go for the mastery which will let you use it for longer, counteracting its downside. The next gun you'll unlock is the heavy cannon. It uses bullets and ammo type it shares with the minigun. This is your longer range option, able to continuously fire on demons without requiring you to get up close. It's good at targeting weak points and, with its mod, Precision Bolt, even more so. One or two taps on the trigger will stagger fodder, letting you glory kill without wasting your ammo or accidentally killing them. However, against the heavier demons, the regular fire is mostly ineffective when compared to the minigun. The Precision Bolt mod is the one I picked up after Sticky Bombs and it has a niche. 
By holding down the Alt Fire, you zoom in, and when you fire, will consume six rounds to deal high damage at a long range. When you get good enough, this will be your go-to weak point destroyer. It turns your cannon into a sniper, and in a lot of fights, you'll be able to pick off key demon weak points from max range, keeping you safe to deal with what's closest to you. It instantly kills fodder and pierces through them. It's great on drones to pinata resources, although it's good at picking off weak points, it's not good at actually finishing demons. There's no heavy in the game I'd recommend trying to take down with this mod, but I found it useful to have to quickly take down imps, drones, gargoyles, and weak points. I don't recommend focusing on the mastery, the blast rarely comes in handy and there are other tools that will serve you better. Micro Missiles is the second mod. By holding down Alt Fire, you'll load missiles up and holding your trigger will unleash them. They have a minor homing ability and they're good at taking out crowds or unloading like full auto into a demon you need to take out desperately. Except this one has range. Like full auto, this burns through your ammo very quickly and I would much rather you use the minigun for the same function. This is a case where you either love it or hate it. If you love it, you have to rush the mastery and forego using the minigun in most cases, except for the Hell Knight group of demons and the tyrant, which the minigun would still be superior for. Else, I recommend not investing in this mod. It's great early on, but will become outclassed without investment. It's good against any high HP demon, and tracking makes it okay against the whiplash, but teleporting demons will avoid the missiles, unlike the lock-on burst mod for the rocket launcher. The third weapon you unlock is the plasma rifle. During development, the order in which you unlock was changed, and this seems like it would have been a later game find. However, it definitely feels like a stage one, as it shoots slow-moving plasma balls that do low damage at all range and lower at long, but it has a high ammo count. It uses cells and shares this ammo type with the ballista. Usually when low on ammo, I found myself only being able to use the plasma rifle as it's quite niche and I didn't use it in other situations. It's especially essential against shielded demons. Against any demon that uses a shield, whip this out and it will make short work of it. Most shields will explode, killing or damaging enemies around it, so when you see those shields, your mouth will salivate at the opportunity for carnage. Like the combat shotgun and the heavy cannon, this weapon is not good against heavy demons, not without expending a lot of ammo. However, against the Doom Hunter, one of the hardest super heavies, this weapon is essential to take down their shields. The first mod, Heat Blast, makes it so your plasma bullets store up heat and you can release it by pressing alternate fire, creating a shock blast in front of you at short range. This will instantly clear out fodder and deal a surprising amount to heavy demons. I found this on the Whiplash and other faster, lower health heavies usually set them up for a glory kill if they'd sustained some damage prior. It can be a great oh shit button, so having this mod equipped on the plasma rifle is preferred over the microwave. As this mod is more of a panic button rather than a sustained use, I can't list what it's good and bad against as it's mostly average against everything without a shield. Its mastery makes the plasma rifle's mediocre damage actually quite good, however there are better options to invest your early points. Next up is the microwave beam and this is a mod that I was not good enough to use. By holding your alternate fire and locking onto a demon, then holding your fire you get off a beam that locks down your target, so if you are one on one, this is quite effective. However, its main use is that once the demon dies from this effect, it explodes. The bigger the demon, the bigger the bang, so damaging a large demon beforehand and then switching to the microwave is a good way of clearing out a lot of demons at once. It burns through ammo very quickly though and doesn't do the damage that the micro missiles or full auto does, so it's best used for finishing off those demons with a bang. Mastering the microwave beam is not very effective as concussive blast isn't worth much in my opinion. A falter is not setting them up for a glory kill, it just means they stop attacking for a second because they reel over from the shockwave. There are better masteries. The mod is good against all heavily damaged large demons, great at locking down fast moving or teleporting demons and good for clearing out large groups of fodder. Next is the rocket launcher, the fourth weapon you unlock and does everything you expect a rocket launcher to do. Launch rockets. Rockets are shared by no other weapon, but you have very few of them. They deal high damage in a large area of effect, but they also damage you, so be careful. 
This is the first weapon you get that's great against heavy demons and fighter alike with its normal fire, and it's only ineffective against fast moving targets or targets that dodge, like the Arachnatron, who will, if they see it coming, jump out of the way of incoming rockets. That is, unless you use the lock on burst or remote detonate, which both counteract this. The rocket launcher is a big ticket weapon, so use it effectively. The first mod is Remote Detonate. By pressing Alt Fire, you can detonate a rocket before it hits something in order to give you more control. Why would you mod the rocket to do this? Because demons don't stand still. They're moving just like you, and in a lot of cases, detonating the rocket as it passes demons will hit them, turning a wasted shot into money. With a weapon that is low ammo, this is very useful when you get good at it. This is the weapon that's good against all slow, heavy demons that are in your face, and the mod makes it so it's good against faster moving demons like the Arachnatron and the Whiplash. It also becomes useful against the Pinky, as you can launch a rocket deliberately behind it, detonate, and hit its extremely vulnerable under-armored butt. And you can also hit shielded targets like the Carcass and Shielded Soldiers if you do the same. The upgraded proximity flare makes hitting your targets less guesswork, and concussive blast makes your rockets give you some extra breathing room with every detonation. And you don't even need a mastery point. Eat that microwave beam. Mastering this weapon is not a bad idea, as the blast created will be quite a bit larger, and the carnage it creates is quite a sight to behold. Later game, there'll be a ton of heavy demons overwhelming you, and this mod definitely helps, at least until they're getting too close. Lock on bursts like Remote Detonate remove some of the drawbacks of the rocket launcher. In this case, making it the most effective weapon against fast moving targets, and even targets that teleport like the Prowler. By holding the Alt Fire, you lock onto a target, and by pressing Fire, you launch three rockets that heavily seek their target but have a reduced splash. Stopping if they hit another target or object, this tracks the whiplash, prowlers and imps, and kills them with one salvo. Much better than the remote detonation for these demons, if you have trouble with them, however it uses more ammo and isn't effective against shielded targets. The carcass demon especially is a hard counter to the rocket launcher, and even more so the lock on burst, as their shields always seem to pop in front of you when you choose to fire, damaging you. A notable point is that it's particularly good against a flying boss you'll encounter later, but I won't talk about that. Upgrading Lock-On Burst isn't a bad idea either, but it's wise to choose either this mod or Remote Detonation. The mastery lets you clear out multiple large demons quickly at range, but this is more of a precision approach, whereas Remote Detonation's mastery is a wide sweeping attack. The fifth weapon you unlock is the Super Shotgun. It uses shells so it shares ammo with the Combat Shotgun. It fires two every time you pull the trigger, and is the most damaging weapon, besides the Crucible and the BFG, as long as you are at point blank range. If you're a little bit further away, it'll hit multiple targets, killing fodder in a single hit. Unlike the Combat Shotgun, this weapon is very effective against heavy demons, and a waste of ammo on fodder. It's especially deadly to super heavy demons, and my go-to weapon, along with the Ballista, against the difficult to kill Marauders, who you only have a small window to hit. It only has one mod, and by using your alternate fire when aiming at a demon, you send out a hook. This hook pulls you into melee range right next to the demon you hooked, and it's perfect for following up from a blast with your shotgun, or following up with a blood punch or chainsaw for sweet ammo or health respectively. The hook demon is also faulted while you're on your journey, so it helps by giving you space to breathe. With the mastery, you'll also set the demon on fire, topping your armor up when you kill it. This is extremely useful, so I recommend upgrading and mastering it as soon as you can. Being able to get up close in the heat of battle is ridiculously useful, as it's the best way to heal and replenish your resources, as well as get out of sticky situations, get into them, or simply finish off key targets. A few point blank super shotgun blasts will take out most heavy demons, however you're likely to die in that position, so be careful. The otherwise hard to kill Cyber Mancupus is a perfect target for your hook to get into range to blood punch its armor off and follow up with a shotgun blaster too to ensure that's a dead manky. Pinkies also don't appreciate the super shotgun. The gun's weakness is that you're limited by ammo. What I mentioned before is shells are extremely useful and you might prefer to use remote bombs at range. Like mentioned, the Super Shotgun is great against the Marauder, who requires you to dance with it a little bit and fire when its eyes flash green. 
as it's a small window of opportunity, doing a high amount of damage quickly is definitely needed. The Arch Vile, who's a priority target and quite elusive, can be taken care of by hooking it when you see it, then blood punching the fire away and blasting it. The sixth weapon you unlock is the Ballista. It uses cells, so it shares ammo with the Plasma Rifle. It consumes 25 cells around and does an extremely high amount of damage in an accurate beam. It's also great against shields, but it also penetrates through fodder. The Ballista does bonus damage against flying demons like the Kako Demon and Pain Elemental, dispatching them easily with a few rounds. The Ballista is a no-brainer when it comes to fighting the Pain Elementals, which would otherwise take time to bring down. It's also great against most heavy demons, dealing massive damage and being highly accurate on weak points. Its problem is, like the Rocket Launcher and Super Shotgun, that it uses a lot of ammo extremely fast, so don't use it on fodder. Its regular fire is great to use on every super heavy, and especially the Doom Hunter, as it is cell ammo and will take down shields. The problem will be choosing what to use it on, as you're very limited in uses. Arbalus is a first mod, and by holding Alt Fire, you charge up a shot. You release it when you press the fire button, and your shot will embed in its target, exploding for higher damage in an area of effect after a short delay. It instantly kills Kako Demons and kills Pain Elementals in a few shots. With the upgrades, it becomes quite potent in the middle of battle, and with the mastery, can be used to quickly dispatch large groups of heavy demons. This mod turns an otherwise single target weapon into something that can devastate groups. Faster demons will be able to avoid this, and although it's great against shields, you'll only really want to use the ammo on the Doom Hunter's shield, and not on the carcass or soldiers, as the plasma rifle will use less ammo and do the same job. The Destroyer Blade is a mod that, after a sizable charge time, which slows you right down to a crawl, will unleash a devastating blast like a giant Destructo Disc, cutting through fodder and heavies alike. This is truly devastating and is a one hit on most demons. The problem is actually getting it off without dying. One such way you can do this is to lean on good frost grenade usage. However, most of the time you'll have to absorb some incoming fire. The mastery really isn't needed, but can be very useful for targeted strikes on key targets as the charge time is significantly less. I wouldn't recommend upgrading both mods though. The Destroyer Blade is good against most large demons, but a waste on smaller ones. Just watch your ammo. The last weapon you unlock before the BFG and the Crucible, which are basically one hit kill weapons with rare ammo, is the Chain Gun. The Chain Gun uses bullets, so it shares an ammo type with the Heavy Cannon. It's a balanced weapon able to be effective at most ranges. It is, however, the easiest way to burn through high HP targets as it does consistently high damage over time at the cost of chewing through ammo. It's like a non-tracking or area of effect version of the Rocket Salvo mod. It's especially useful against the Knight type enemies and the super heavy Baron of Hell and Tyrant as it staggers them extremely quickly, letting you dispatch them with ease. These enemies stick on you like glue and get in your face, making rockets difficult to fire and other weapons are ways to use ammo on. The chain gun is good against fodder, a few bullets staggering them, but most effective against those heavies and super heavies. The mobile turret simply improves upon the damage output and ammo consumption. By holding down the alternate fire, you separate the barrels and holding fire will unload rounds at a staggering pace. The only drawback is that if you hold fire for too long, the gun will overheat and stall. This mod is simply a better version of the chain gun, and there is little reason not to upgrade it as you'll be using it often to burn down key targets, and will be useful against a particular boss which I won't go through. Energy Shield is the final upgrade, and it makes it so when you press Alt Fire, an energy shield appears in front of the chain gun, protecting you from harm as long as you hold the button. This is good in higher difficulties where every bit of health counts and you need to burn those heavies down. However, in your casual playthrough, the mobile turret is simply better where offense is the best defense. Even the mastery is tailored towards higher difficulties as falters count for more. So those were all the weapons and mods. As you can see, they all have a use in game and don't be surprised if you switch between them often in the heat of battle. If I haven't mentioned a demon by name, it's probably because multiple weapons are effective against them, or a blood punch, frag, or frost grenades help set them up for a kill. Visit the Codex for more information. So after hearing and seeing everything there is to know about weapons in Doom, have you changed your mind on a favourite weapon? 
Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, feel free to comment, subscribe and hit that bell button. It helps a lot. Be sure to keep your eyes peeled to slash dantics for more. Until next time, bye friends.